What is happening? God, please help my daughter. Okay. I'm God. Oh my God. What is happening, God? I don't know. The line is not going. What is happening? Even Doris, Doris is not what even is happening. I don't know. What is what happening? happening? Wait. There is no indicate. Hey. It's like Judith's voice. Please. Yes, please. Judith's voice. Judith's voice. Thank God. What happened? Daddy, the crisis outside is terrible. Oh my God. I've been trying you are lying. My battery ran down. Oh my God. Thank God you are here. Trying to get through when I had the crisis outside. Where's Judy? Where's Judy? Judy is inside. Let's get it. It's inside. Let's go inside. Don't even tell us. The crisis is terrible. Oh my God. Thank you. Calling you. Calling you a lie. I had to oh, run, Daddy. They are burning cars and burning houses. Jesus. People. Oh, Jesus. People everywhere. Oh, sorry, my God. Yeah. I glorify you. Oh, what, what is happening? You? What's happening? Eh? It's alright. Don't worry. God is in control. My God. I just thank God that we have finished our own finals. What would I have done? I can't further in Joss. The crisis is too much. On and off, on and off. I can't further in Joss. My dear, take it easy. I want you to relax. Everything is under control. Please, don't panic. Let us go to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee, deliver thee from the snare of the Oh, this is the thing that we say that every, the normal house my return is the same. And I will post, just come off here. Thank you. I'm free to go about the normal businesses. Thank you. God bless you. Thank God. God has intervened. The governor has declared coffee. This cause for prayer. Let us thank God. Please rise. And let us thank God. You are the Lord. Let's run and be glorified. You are my Jesus. Let's run and be glorified. Who really Mama, I'm not going to church with you today. I'm going to the Mivon's church. Her mom is having Thanksgiving today. Why didn't you tell us before? Mama, I was telling you yesterday evening, but you were, you were not listening. You were doing something. It's okay. Make sure you lock the back door before going out. Please, come back in time, eh? Okay, ma. I think you should try it. I hear it's really nice. Don't try it. The minute I do it, you're the first person I'm going to look for. <laughs> no, but I'm not scared. It's um, practical, so I'll just drink it and see how I'm going to be feeling. You're yeah, not serious. Please, we have told you as a child. I'm going to ask her why, why she should do that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm not a very good person. I have to worry now. Why? Because I didn't tell my parents I'll be scaling church. But it's not fair now. Just can't you just stay for the merriment? No, no. Why now? It's not fair now. I know, but I can't stay. So why did you bother to come at all if you knew that you must stay to the end? My father is a pastor and he doesn't like me going to other churches because he fears that their doctrines will corrupt mine. So I have to go. Let's go and eat rice. Exactly. Yeah. Don't go now now. I have to go. Don't go, you're not going anywhere. Don't go 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 an
someone just told me that uh, um, a crisis started um, on Bauchi Road. They attacked a small church. This what? Morning. Yes. What's the name of the church? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I was just, I didn't understand what he was saying. Our church is in that area. Which one? Let's go and ask the guy for police. Oh my, my God! Where's the guy? That's what I'm waiting for. Let's go and take me. Yeah, Come no, and no, take don't me. Don't it's okay. It's okay, my child. Hmm? You can say that. Your life was made for a purpose. God knows better. He knows better. Purpose. What purpose are you made for? <laughs> you can't question God. He knows best. You have to pull yourself together. You have to. My dear, most families we are completely wiped out from the surface of this earth. But God spared you just for the sake of your family's name. Put yourself together. Hmm? Everybody's destiny is not the same. Your father, my brother, was a good man. So he deserves to live. But God knows better. Please hold yourself. The useless boy started shouting and fire and fire. Everybody ran out of The girl was confused and didn't know where to run to, so she ended up inside the well. Oh my god. Look, can you imagine? Inside the well. I mean, that's really sad. I mean, I, I feel so bad for her. That's that's sad. What kind of a stupid joke is that? At least her situation is better than my own. She was saved. It's better than my family that was slaughtered and burnt to ashes. Oh, stop joking. Okay, God knows best, eh? What happened to the stupid boy now? Oh, trust the soldiers. They used their belts on him very, very well. Mm -hmm. He said right. He said he right. right. But I mean, how can someone do such stupid joke? Oh, it's stupid. Just what did the girl do? It was like, you two were crazy. Lawrence, my wife and I have been watching you. And I've discovered you are finding it difficult to get over this tragedy that befell us all. But I want you to take it easy. Relax. And look forward for a better tomorrow. My daughter, I know that we can never fill the vacuum left by your parents. But we shall try our best, knowing that we are related to them. On my own part, I promise to be a mother to you at all times. Whatever I give to my daughter, I will definitely give it to you. Only. And as for education, feeding and accommodation, I promise I will do my best. Thank you very much, Uncle. And so thank you very much. I I really appreciate everything you've been doing for me and everything you're willing to do for me. God bless you. That's all right. You can retire to your mind.
Madam. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so what did you tell him? Who? His proposal. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> As usual. What? I'm still posing for him. Come on, Yvonne, we are big girls. I don't even tell me. We are big girls whether you like it or not. See, I know that you're right. Yes, we are big girls. Mm -hmm. We're babes now. I mean, just, just stop posting him for too long. You know how these boys are. He's an area boy. I don't trust him. Babe. You're right, Shia. You're very correct. No, men are very useless. Very useless. Post him, post him, post him. The next time you jam in now, it's with another girl. Try to confront him, he'll give you the biggest disgrace of your life. Mm -hmm. That's the way back home. So next time you see him, just agree. You can't agree like that. You agree now. I agree like that. <laughs> um, Igbo, what? It's granite now. I don't want to eat. You must eat. Enough people eat. It's granite. It's granite. It's good for your health. It's granite. Enough pimples for you. <laughs> From your jaw to your nose, everywhere. <laughs> don't waste granite. What? what? Don't waste granite. Count to waste. Hundred naira. Don't waste. You don't waste. I have to check my own. Check my own. I'm checking it now. You know what I'm checking now? Microbiology. I'm checking it. Microbiology. I know. I'm checking it. <laughs> By the time I land that university campus as a degree student, <laughs> the way forward, fire, because I've already done my shopping. Should I be laughing at me? I here we are. Here we are. Microbiology. Microbiology. Yes, yes, yes. Your name is not here. What do you mean my name is not here? <laughs> Oh my god! Hey, what's funny? Uh, uh, university not by first now. It's not for everybody. I have prayed and prayed. I don't want my name to come out for the direct entry. So my mother can allow me to go and stay with my auntie in Port Harcourt. What kind of wish is that? That's what I wish for. I don't want to go to any university. I am happy. I am so happy. Because my sister, if you say I don't pass, my dad will skin me alive. I know. Congratulations. Come on, check your own. I'm not checking anything. I beg There's nothing there for me. No school, no work, nothing. My daughter, if you ask me, I will tell you to stay here with me until you get your direct entry admission. Mama, there is no need to do that. See, there is no need. You know, Auntie Cairo has connection in the University of Harcourt. All I need to do is just to go over there, stay with her a bit, and just be very loyal and good to her. Then she will have reasons to help me. Anyway, if he said so, no problem. I want you to still remember what I have been telling you. You know the kind of family you come from. Mm. Eh? Please, don't do anything that will affect your future. At least you can learn from my own condition. Ma, don't you trust me? Don't trust your daughter. You should know me better than this now. I'm a very good girl. I'll never do anything that will destroy my future. You know it now. I know, I know, I know. I know you will make me proud. So, when are you going back? I'm thinking of going tomorrow. Eh? Just like that? Yes, Mama. No, 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 no. Don't wow. say that. Mm -hmm. Is that how you love me? <laughs> You're going tomorrow. <laughs> Don't you know I will miss you? Mama, you know I love you. I love you so much. But no, 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 no. Why don't you leave it <laughs> next weekend? This weekend. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll go on something. <laughs> hey, please, that will be okay. okay. What did your father say? My sister, I don't understand that man anymore. I mean, do you blame a man that lost his shops and, and, and properties to one stupid thing called riot? You know, my mother is suffering the same hardship. Her shop was burnt to ashes. Oh, wow. Some have food but cannot eat. Some can eat but have no food. What are you singing? 
I'm just saying, God should have just given the admission to Yvonne or to you. Knowing that our parents can't afford it. To Doris, I beg your pardon? You're sounding like you're any better. Oh, Chuma, 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 you shouldn't have said that. That was harsh. Wait, 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 okay, wait. Let me I'll call you later, I'll call you later. Alright, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, 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 okay. One minute. One minute, have you? Hey hey! Madam! This is Judith. <laughs> Why are you shouting? Ah, if I stop shouting, Joe. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just broke. Man, even this town is dead. I pray this town is dead. Nothing is happening here. <laughs> oh, they are fine, they are fine. Chema and Darius are fine. Do you know Chema has not been able to raise that 11,000 naira for her registration fee? <laughs> Talk less of her school fees. She has not raised it yet, though. Even no. Don't worry, I know if you have, you give her. I'll tell her, I'll tell her. Eh? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have to go, I have to go. All right, yeah. Bye, let's... Yvonne, I have to go. My money will finish, I have to go. <laughs> okay. Bye. I mean... Two minutes. Plus that one, three. Give me fifty, I owe you ten. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Yvonne. Oh ah, God. No sleep Betty. I'm sorry, I woke up late. Sorry. I'm sorry. Please hurry up, eh? Uh, come on, come on. What kind of soap did you use? I, I, I used that. That what? That came. How much is it? It's 30 naira. <laughs> oh, you won't just please. Um, look, you can't continue like this. Yes, you have a clean skin. But that is not enough reason for you to kill it one day. Look, guess of your age in this town, you so that what thousands of naira. Even Margaret, my son's girl, uses expensive soap. What is this uh, that what? See, Margaret is working. I'm not working. I can't buy expensive soaps. How much do I pay her in a month? She does not rely on her salary to take good care of herself. She has a rich boyfriend. So you don't wake up. What is this that of what? Oh, well, Ivan. I've been watching you since you got here. Um, it's like you don't have a boyfriend. Well, you know what? I'll hook you up with somebody that will take good care of you, okay? Just hurry up, eh? Maybe, just hurry up.
mother's only child. Her father died when she was very young. Please, Chief, I would like you to take good care of her as if she's your own sister. Madam Carol. <laughs> Chief. You know me now. I mean, we have come a long way. If anyone should come now to make inquiries about me, I'm sure you will give me a very good recommendation. Of course I will. Oh. I will. Chief, I trust you. I know what you can do. <laughs> so let me check if she's ready. No. Chief, Chief. <laughs> Chief, I'm coming, eh? Auntie, oh my god, you need to see his house, his cars, and you know that new car that was advertised yesterday on TV? Yes. The exes, mm -hmm. he has it. Auntie, <laughs> his swimming pool, his garage, his house is so big, it's like, it's a mansion, you can't even get lost in that house. Auntie, God, he's a millionaire, he has so much money. Hey, God. <laughs> my dear, I'm sure you've not seen anything yet. That is probably one of his numerous properties at this butter court, my dear. Chief Tone is a billionaire. Hey. I saw it yesterday and he's a billionaire. He has so much money. And guess what? He gave me 300,000 naira just to accept to date him more. <laughs> My dear, that is just the beginning. When Chief Tony gets used to you, yeah. so that you will own your own properties in this part hey. Oh, God. Hey, God. And tell, thank you so much. Thank you. God will bless you. Yes, yeah, no problem. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. As long as you take good care of my sister, that is your mother. Auntie, that's not your problem. I love my mother so much. That's not your problem. Thank you so I much. I trust Thank you. you. I know what you can do. That's not problem. <laughs> Judith, he is God sent. God. You know, there are some men that are rich, but they don't spend on their women. But this one is rich and he spends on his women. <sighs> Chief Tonye is God sent. You know what? You know what? I'll send you 20,000 right today. Yes, yeah, send 20,000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen now, listen. Okay, give um, 5,000 right to Choma. Then give 5,000 right to Doris. And keep 10,000 right. <laughs> I know. Just wait, stop now. <laughs> Judy, 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 wait, wait. Okay, you know what? You know, I miss you girls a lot. I miss you girls. My sister, ah, PH. PH is wonderful, no? Hey, God. <laughs> Oh God, ah oh God, I'm enjoying here. I swear to God, I'm enjoying. <laughs> okay now, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Hey God, <laughs> how did this go? Oh my God, don't kill me. It's about uh, my education. I was just thinking that I, I, I want to go to the University of Port Harcourt and collect a part-time form so I can go back to school. Sweetheart, it's a good idea. But I don't think you should do that yet. Knowing you fully well that schooling will not allow you to do some certain things you are supposed to do. My dear, I expect you to talk about schooling when you are completely made, you gather enough money and invest in some kind of business. Huh? Then you can go back to school. Auntie, but won't I be too old by then? Like, I'm so young right now, I can still go back to school and make something out of my life. <laughs> Yvonne, education knows no age. There are people who are far older than you, but today they are in school, struggling for a Better tomorrow. So that's it. You will go back to school, okay? Hmm? Go back to school. It's okay. I'm okay. Um, I'm just going to go back to school, right? It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right? Yes, my love. Okay. Hot school over. Hot! It's like me. Hi, Do you know I went to my former area this morning? What in the world did you go and do there? I wanted to see for myself if truly the house was burned down to ashes. My dear, if not for the fact that you did and Yvonne gave me some clothes to wear, I would have been roaming this town naked. God forbid, you would never walk naked. 
Hey, you just have to keep thanking God for granting you the privilege to be our Me. We're not running away from me, we're running for that thing that is between you. I don't think it's chasing me, I think it's chasing me. I'm running because I'm excited. Well, what's exciting you? Have they finally put your name in the supplementary list or something? I can get out. What's that? Anyways, I called Yvonne and she invited me over to Port Harcourt this weekend. Wow, that's good news. <laughs> that's the way forward. Now, wow. So Yvonne is now being partial about our friendship, inviting only you to Port Harcourt. Mm -mm. Doris. You don't expect us to pack ourselves like fish and go to Padako, do you? Moreover, that town is very expensive. Hmm. My sister, besides the poor girl is still living with her aunt. She said once you get a place of her own, she'll invite both of you over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You already sound like a big girl and you may even move to Padako to prepare out. Yes, in this business. See that next week, I'll dive in. Give me your water. Bring that girl here, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Gotten you admission or she's still processing it? Daddy, she has already gotten the form for me and they've organized an aptitude test on Monday. That's why she asked me to hurry down. No, no, no. I don't like the sound of this. She should have informed you earlier than now. Uh, as a mother, so that I can rally around, get you some food. No, mommy, I, I, don't, I don't need anything. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How can you be fine without food? Look, you have to be prepared. Portacourt is very expensive. I make some money available for your mother to get you provision and a little cash to sustain you, right? Daddy, thank you. Nice. Thank you, Daddy. Nice. 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 Love you. Feed your eyes, girl. Feed your eyes. This one is a Prada. No Prada now. Prada now. $3,000, dollars and this one is a Valentino. Not the design I did here now. No more local markets. <laughs> it's a Valentino. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Look at this shoe. From Italy. He bought it for me from Italy. Oh my god. Look mm -hmm. this one. Guess where? Where? Guess where? From Paris. <laughs> Enough, 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 to be only innocent, virginary. Hey, I wish he knew how far I've gone in You've gone mission. very far. Well. <laughs> very, very far. Oh, gosh. It's nice to be here. Yeah, it's really, really nice, you know. So, tell me, welcome to what happened. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, babes. Don't worry. When he begins sending thousands of naira, he will change his mind. Don't worry. Ha. Pain. Is money that easy to come by here? My dear. Hmm. It's all about linking you with the right people at the right time. Yes, it's not like that dead joss when a man gives you 5k, he thinks he has bought you on wholesale. I pray. I pray make you reach 5,000. I pray. <laughs> Listen to me, okay? I will introduce you to somebody. Tomorrow is Sunday, Abby. Sunday. I promise to take you where you will see men. How men spend on girls. How they spend on chicks. Real men. Okay? Listen, I'm dating this guy. This is my fantastic friend. He's such a wonderful person. He's my bobo. He gives me a lot of money. Yes, he's a rich dude. He's a multi-millionaire. He's crazy about me. Yvonne. Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne, leave me to somebody, his friend or anybody. No, I want no. to look like you. Listen, look at your wardrobe. Listen, listen, listen. He's talking about his friend. 
what he's concerned about is girls looking their best. Once you look good from head to toe, he will get tricked and he will just like you and start giving you all the money. Yes. You don't mind him looking at me? Mind? <laughs> Babe, he's a married man now. A married man. What am I doing with him? Remember back in the days how we used to exchange men, how we used to date each other men. And also share our men now. It's not a big deal. You can grab from the national you can eat it. Babe, he's not my husband now. <laughs> Do I care? Yvonne is big now. What are you doing? Yvonne! I pray my no good. I'm doing it. I pray. <laughs> I pray. <laughs> <laughs> friend look at the way she's laughing my dear there's no sensible woman that leaves her dog and her pot of meat it's suicidal auntie i know it's suicidal but listen judith is my friend we've been friends for god knows how long since we're in nursery school whatever chief tonya tells her she must tell me i'm very sure of that okay auntie don't worry all right
Let's just say I gave the old man what he hasn't gotten in his entire life. <laughs> you don't finish this man, baby. Hey. You don't finish this man. Baby. True, true. Uh -huh. The man is a horse. By the time I was done with him, he couldn't have screamed my name till this morning. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh God. Baby, don't finish this man. You're not only a professional. You are a social worker. That reminds me. Guess what? What? The man gave me some people's one year salary. Two hundred thousand naira. What? Well, he try, share, he try. But listen, babes, listen. He can do more than this for you. He can do a lot. Yes, he can do a lot more for you. But you know what? You have to promise that you keep. Hey, I pray, my wife. I pray. You don't kiss my finish. Oh my, you don't finish this man. But he likes you. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. like, go. You oh, need to see the way he was begging me not to tell you. Forget that thing. I pray, man, not tell you. Forget that. That man does not like me. He doesn't even love me. Seriously. You know what? He just caught in between sweet and honey. And he doesn't know what to do. He's just confused, okay? I'll you with you now. I pray, man, not go back. I pray, man, not go back. This girl, man. She's a bad girl. You're not playing. I'll take the drive, take the drive, take the drive. Can't explain. Show me now. Hey, Jesus Christ. Hey, you are not die. I can't tell you about it. Don't die. I can't tell you about it until you witness it. Ah, but you know now, we are allowed to come and witness it. I feel like I don't. I feel like I Jesus Christ. Hey, God. Oh, hey. You should see the way he scolds me. Doris, Doris, listen. Daddy is not wicked. He's just a disciplinarian. Now you have to learn to tolerate him. You have to. You don't understand, it's worse than that. See, he barely allows me to go out. I can't do anything. Me, I'm tired though, I'm tired. I know, I know, I've been there and I get really upset too. But listen, if one and I will swim into our own apartment, then you and Chema can come and join us. But for the meantime, just, just, just tolerate them or, or just tolerate them. Please, I can't wait to come to Potakota and join you guys. I've had enough of this place. Uh, I've had enough, please, eh? I promise. 
Once we rent our own apartment, you'll come and join us, okay? Now, regards to Choma. And Jude, and Jude. She's complained that my parents wouldn't give her space and my parents are complaining that she's unruly and she wouldn't listen. I just don't know what to do with them. But seriously, your parents should let her be. Things are not done the old fashioned way anymore. I mean, they just let the girl be. What's that? Your father is too strict. That's my father you're talking about. He's strict now. I pray. I mean, pastor Zata. Come on, here. He gets with him now. Okay, come back. This is for you. This? Will you always be my Valentine? Yes, 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 yes! Oh my God, yes! Oh my God! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my God! 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And did you bought me a guy? Bought me a car? What? Oh, Jesus! Thank you. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I say, oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> Babe. This is what I call a real relationship. A man who hasn't even paid your bride price. Buys you a car. Minus all the monetary gifts he gives to you. I pray make a relationship. No, babes, seriously, seriously. Am I not worth it? <laughs> All those girls that men kiss and worship their feet, am I not better than them? Yes, he just bought me a car. I deserve a house. Hey, babe, you're not far from the truth. I envy you. I envy you. Ah! No, no, no. You don't have to, okay? You don't have to. Listen, you can get yours. He is our man. I pray. <laughs> I pray, my motto for where? You are his regular yeah. girlfriend. And me, a hide and seek material. No, babes, no. Listen, listen. The thing to do here is, uh, you know, I know that I'm good in bed with him. I know that I'm good. But I mean, I believe that you can even do much more than I do. What you do is, just do the normal thing you do with him. And trust me, he will crave for you. And once he craves for you, you make your demands. <laughs> I pray, oh, you reach. You reach, so you reach. Of course, it's overreach. They worry. You reach. I pray. I'm really rich. Well, you know what? Just put more effort. I think he likes it. What's the matter? You were alright just now. How can I be happy? When the chief doesn't love me. What are you talking about? I spend more time in your bed, Chief. I agree to do it from behind no matter how painful it is. And Yvonne refuses. Yet she's the one who enjoys you and I nothing. But how can you say that? What is it that I have done for her that I have not done for you? A car. What? You bought her a car. And I have nothing. I keep going on bikes and taxis. Chief, I want a car. No matter how small, I want a car. Anything that has four tires. Something to go around with. Just to remind me of how much you love me. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I'll get you a car. I pray, man, I'll dream. I pray, man, I'll triumph. You're serious? Very serious.
My sister, my dear, life is beautiful. Eh? <laughs> you can say that a million times. Life is beautiful. Lord, I mean, look at me. Yeah. Some broke ass chicken jobs mm -hmm. where Christ is nearly killed. <laughs> now I'm here in Port Harcourt driving my own car. Yes, sir. With enough money to yes, spend. Yes, sir. Money my pan ever seen for a life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Seriously. But thanks to my sister uh, and my best oh, friend. Oh, stop. Oh, God. <laughs> stop stepping on me. But seriously, you know, you're like my best friend, like my sister. You know, I love you so much, girl. I love you too. Ah. And, and yeah, stop I love it. you too. Like stop. Oh, stop it, girl. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my word. Man, so tell me, how were you able to convince him to buy you the car? It wasn't easy. I know. It wasn't easy at all. I knew. I had to work hard. Extremely hard. How hard? <laughs> how hard? Very hard. <laughs> Different positions. <laughs> Different positions. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. It's always a freak. <laughs> My God. So, after the hard work. Yes, sir. Then I started crying. Hi, God. Let me say, oh, you know the way he hey. talks. My angel, what are you crying for? for? <laughs> then I said, he doesn't love me. Okay. And then he said, why? And I told him he loves him more than the way he loves oh, me because please. you are his angel and I am a hide and seek material. God. And he said, no, no, no. Why would I ever say that? So I told him he bought you a car mm -hmm. and I don't have a car. I don't even have a scrap. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What? So first thing tomorrow morning, I will get you a car. You did. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> You know, you're my girl any day, any time. But you're a very smart girl, you know. But it's even cry. You know, guys fall for tears a lot. Yeah. You got him there. <laughs> oh, We're coming, auntie. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. But seriously, girl, it's high time we got our own houses in Port Harcourt. I can't yeah. even stand all this. Move your car there, stop your car there. I mean, this is broke landlord. I can't even stand it. Right, mm. You're right. I think we should rent a bit in our oh, God. Right. Rent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. What is talking about rent? I'm talking about buying a house in Port Harcourt, our own house. Yvonne, do you know how much a house costs in Port Harcourt? How much does a house cost in Port Harcourt? Okay, those girls buying houses up and down all over Port Harcourt, do they have two heads? No, they have one. <laughs> and we're even better than them. I pray man, I follow you. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, God, you know. I mean, lead the way. Are you follow? And I will follow. You're so crazy. I'll blow.
somebody died? Yes, yes, somebody died. Chitoya is dead. Hey, Jesus Christ, he died in a plane crash. Wait, 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 wait. You're joking, right? He, he's dead? I mean, you mean he's dead? I am sure. I saw it on TV. Only one flight left London for Nigeria. He called me at 8.30 informing me that his flight was about to take off. My God. He's dead, he's dead, Yvonne. He also called here about eight days that I should come and pick him from the airport that he'll be arriving around noon. But I, I haven't heard from him since then. Oh my God, he's dead. Alright, just keep watching the news. I need to get all the reports you can get, okay? Just, just. We don't have to come here. of all this. Judith, for heaven's sake, stop letting me feel like the devil. I am not the devil, okay? The man is dead and gone. He just allowed his soul rest in peace. Okay, tell me, what did you expect me to do? Hmm? Leave the money for his so-called wife who couldn't have a child for him because she was too busy in London sleeping around with small boys? Or what still? Leave it for the lawyer to give it to the less privileged, right? Giving it to the less privileged should be a better idea. Oh, of course. It remains the best idea, Judith. Judith, listen. Are you not a less privilege? Am I not a less privilege? Didn't it just crisis affect us badly? Didn't it? Listen, Judith. We should take the money and run. All right? Yvonne, when it comes to issues like this, you know say so you don't get mind rich me. But come on, the man is dead. Yvonne, you know they watch horror film. Yes, that isn't a fantastic idea. He is dead and gone. He cannot resurrect. He is dead. Nothing can happen. He is dead, yes. You will chop this, you will chop this man, you will chop it so bad. Look at what I'm trying to help. Did you come to Apotaco to come and play here? Or you came to make money? Look at this girl. Rubbish. Trying to help someone, just talking rubbish. You never get me angry right now, I'm just so pissed. Really well. You know, 
This town has rituals and killings to it. You can be whatever you want to be in this town. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, you have to be careful with who you mingle with. You don't just mingle with anybody. Now that has been our secret for so long. <laughs> well said. Yeah, you have to be really careful with who you mingle with, as she says. He or she must be rich. Yes. Money is number one to thing to consider when making friends. Rich and classy. Can I hear them? Can I hear them? You know what? You can do whatever you want to be in this town. But please, who you associate with the matters. Now that, we are the girls that run things in this town. That's the name of the game. I have come to join you. As for the girls. Girls, the name of the game is Big Up Yourself. Shine your eyes. This is the welcome gong. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hi, what's up? Um, are they fine? Um, you like this? This is beautiful, it suits you. Make Make a choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi. Hi. You like that one? Um, no. I mean, I'm actually wondering, whoever made this show has got to be a clown. <laughs> well, this is perfect. Like, it's very feminine and it's going to suit you. Well, I'm so certain it'll suit you better. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Uh, you speak so well, quite intelligently. Well, um, I'm a graduate. Wow, you are. Well, I'm a microbiology graduate from the University of Nigeria, Suka. Wow, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing here selling bags, shoes and clothes? Um, well, as you know, Portacot is a very tough city, so one has to get himself involved into something in order not to get broke. Hmm, you're a graduate. I could help you, you know. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I really don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'll just put it back. Number? Um, okay, I will. Number. <laughs> uh, there you go. Thank you. What are you doing? Um, I have to go now. Oh, come on, child. Yeah. Come on. Please. Stay a bit longer. No, I can't. I have to go see my sister. She's all alone by herself. Jordan, I'm certain your sister is fine. She's an adult. You know, sometimes I wish I, I had a place of my own, you know, where you can come around and visit and my sister under the same roof. I just have to go now, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually begging you to stay. But I am. Funny enough, I'm willing to do anything to make you stay. Let's have it this way. You spend the night with me, and by tomorrow, your sister and yourself will have a roof for your head. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Are you I said so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the house is so beautiful. I love it so much. It's perfect. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for everything. I mean, it's so wonderful to know that you can go this extent for me and my sister. It's nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, we're short of words right now. Um, we're so grateful they came into our lives saying you made it so beautiful. It's nothing. Anything for this man here. <laughs> Thank you. Just an excuse you guys. Sure, sure. So. Alright. So. Thank you. Can I go?
Why don't you sit down and tell me what other changes you want to make? gradually becoming a drunk. What do you expect I do, huh? What do you expect I do? I mean, body no be firewood now. It's been three weeks I had sex. Oh, hot huh? sex. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? You know, with this my new status, I can't like sleep with nobody. It has to be like a classy guy or a very rich dude. I can't go low class. You know now, I'd rather go celebrate than sleep with just anybody. I can't stand all those broke guys, please. I need money. Money to take care oh, of this house. Uh, Goodness, Eva, yeah. are you out of your mind? Everybody <laughs> needs sex. That is your problem. As for me, I need a soldier who carries big things if you know what I mean. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean like my darling Jordan, uh, Yvonne. Mm. That guy isn't tall. Uh-oh. He's not fat. Mm -hmm. God, he is a horse. What trips me the most is the way he screams his name when he's on top of me. Like that. What's my name? Ow. Jump! Jump! <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Vivian. Vivian. Listen, all I ask is a little more time, okay? Then we can go on with our wedding plans. Please. Go say that to the birds. Okay? Do you think I'm daft? I'm sorry, but I'm not stupid. I'm not daft. Look, it's so obvious that you're falling in love with her. I see the way you look at her lustfully. I see it. What? Yes, and the way you even kiss her when I'm around. Not even oh, caring. Okay. Sweetness, listen. It can never be anything more than what you see. All right? Listen, she's so intelligent. And she, if she finds out you're not my sister, she could strike you. <laughs> Strike. That's all I'm saying. Hey, she could strike. Do you know how it hurts me when I see my man in the arms of another woman doing stuff that I'm supposed to be doing with him? Do you know how that makes me feel? Goodness. Fine. I accepted that we go into all this. But that's because I wanted us to travel and leave this country. But right now, it's choking me. It is choking me. I cannot even, I can't. Listen, I understand, okay? But please. I just want you to hang in a bit, okay? Just, just hang in a bit, please. Okay. So then, what happens? What if she tricks you into falling in love with her? Come on. What happens to Vivian? What happens Come to on, me now? Come on, that's not gonna happen. All right? Okay. I love you so much, okay? And I promise you that nothing is gonna separate us. Nothing is going to separate us. All right? Nothing is going to come in between us. I promise you. For real? Yeah. I'm very serious. Mm. Yeah, hi, how are you? Um, no. I've been here for like five minutes and she hasn't come. Baby, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I know this is messed up, but I just, I just have to do it. Okay, can you just permit me to be bad this once, okay? And that's all, please. I know, I promise you, I'll make it. Okay, I think she's there, I'll call you back. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Hi, thank you so much. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was actually um, taking juice. Um, do you want some? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you, I'm alright. Well, um, Jordan. Yeah. I heard something about you. So I thought it wise to ask you in person. <sighs> okay. And um, what could I be? Well, I heard that um, you have what it takes. 
you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> to make a sister go, wow. <laughs> um, well, um, in other words, you mean um, to make a woman sexually fulfilled? Yeah, something like that. So, um, I'm asking, what will it cost the sister sitting in front of you to get a chunk from that piece? Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just say if you can take care of this brother, you know, supply all his needs and um, he's all yours. Are you sure that you can handle this sister? Yeah. You sure? Seriously, I've noticed that you hardly go out these days. Hope there's no problem. No, <laughs> no, no. It's just that since Jordan came into my life, he's restricted me from lots of things. And so now that he's traveled, I, I don't have the urge to go out. Uh, my girl is in love. Yes, yes, I am. You're <laughs> <laughs> <I> in love. <laughs> um, does this um, Jordan have? A sister, a cousin, or a sibling? Yes, yes, he his sibling, Vivian. Oh, Vivian. Yeah, because I saw him two weeks ago at the supermarket with a girl named Vivian. I think he's being shady. No, he dare not. And the thought of sharing him with another woman would just <coughs> we go crazy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why would he want to leave? This Concern, you're doing this for your own selfish reason. I mean, because how do you explain the sudden switch from Judith to Yvonne? It's crazy. How do you explain that? Sweetheart, Judith is stingy. Mm. Okay? All she could do was get this house for us. And trust me, that's not what we need. But Yvonne, <sighs> barely two days I met her, she bought me an expensive car. Baby, listen. All I need is some time, okay? I just, I just want to get what I want from these girls and, and we'll travel to Canada. And we'll just, we'll just go get married. Please. Oh, please, get your filthy cheating fingers off me. As far as I'm concerned, from this day on, you're not touching this body again until you're done with all those spots. Vivian, you don't have to talk like please, this. Please. 
Op zijn toe. That's very lovely of you. Welcome, darling. <laughs> yeah, um, I just felt I should come spend the weekend with you guys. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. That would, that would be lovely. Yeah. Oh, come, come on in, come on in. Oh, yeah, um, please go get my things from the car. The car is open. All right. Yes, take it down. Sure. You look great. Come here. Come here. I missed you so much. Uh, I missed you too. Sorry, I promise you that everything will soon be over, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna go to the next flat, to our. I'll just be there. If you need me, just call me, whatever, I'll come. Vivian, please. Please, please. I'm sorry, please. Stop please. it, Jordan. What do you expect me to do? That I should be in this house while you and your girlfriend will be making love all night and screaming? I should be there listening to all that rubbish? Vivian. with you girl I mean how could you consent to such nonsense in the first place if you had bluntly refused and insist on you both working hard to earn the money for your visa no woman will be sleeping with your man right under your nose I mean it's madness it doesn't make sense I know Abba. I know now see the deed has already been done right now all I need is advice on how to get rid of all those desperate men from my Jordan that's all I need to know well I'm not too sure, but yeah, I think you should let the first lady know about her friend's shameful display with your fiancé. What? No, no, that would be suicidal. I can't do that. What if she gets so upset and then trying to hurt um, Jordan? <laughs> she will only do that if only she doesn't love him as much as he claims. Please, let's leave claims out of this. I know that lady is head over heels in love with my Jordan. I know that for sure. Then she will hurt her friend, not Jordan. Okay then, but what if she, you know, tells Jordan, tell her friend, and I get caught up in the middle and all that? What if all that happens? How, girl? That is if you are silly enough to let her know your identity. All you need to do is hide your identity, dial her number, tell her that you are a good neighbor who simply doesn't think it's right for her best friend to be cheating on her. Tell me that you're exhausted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is this the first time you've done it all night? <laughs> Yvonne, do you want to kill me? Huh? You were here throughout last week. Even this week. <laughs> I, I guess I overpriced you. Or maybe my informant. Over exaggerated. <laughs> okay, listen. Maybe she didn't tell you that she was always on top of me, helping mm. me save some energy. Okay. <laughs> but you, you like to be at the receiving end all the time. Oh, come on, baby. I totally understand. But baby, never, 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 never compare me to Judith ever again, okay? Of course he doesn't have to. Can you compare to me in any way? Oh, <laughs> Judith, I mean, <laughs> what a 
pleasant surprise. I mean, how come you came here this early? And don't tell me that you didn't sleep at home last night. Oh, shut your dirty fielder stinking trap and don't you dare play friends with me, you cheap backstabber. My goodness, do you think you had your eyes on him all along and you pretended like he wasn't your speck? I hope you trip and fall. Ah, oh, sweetie, sweetie, listen. <laughs> tell me, what was I supposed to do? Tell the whole world that I'm sleeping with Jordan? You are so irritating. You're so pathetic. My goodness. To think that you are my best friend makes me sick. Oh, really? Then you need to see the doctor, darling. Mm -hmm. You need to see a doctor, Yvonne. Because you have gone mad. You have gone insane. Completely berserk. Jordan, this is the meeting you had in Lagos? This, this is the meeting you had in Lagos? My God, I am so disappointed. As for you, yes, I'll see you at home, definitely. Loser. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you feeling bad? No, darling. No, baby. No. No. Okay. I'm scared. No, you don't be scared. <laughs> That's what you are. Else, she will not be sleeping with my man under my nose. It's heartbreaking, but please do not allow it to ruin your friendship, I beg you. You know what, sweetheart? Tell me back to this low lie standing in front of me. You are so pathetic! <laughs> My goodness! You're not even sorry! sorry. The chief man hunter is not even sorry! Sorry? Sorry about what? Huh? Sorry about what you did? Oh, because I decided to show you my this time. It is wrong. All those years I've been showing you my men. I need to understand, okay? Then I have to so on show you man. Listen to me, girl. That boy is there. It's too cheap for me. He can't even pay my price. Yes. I want to die for him. Go ahead. Die. Kill yourself. Kill you. I will die in painful, shameful, and pathetic death. Tell her. I don't blame you. <laughs> of course not. You inherited your loose heart from your mother. You have the pastor's daughter, would you keep having the next I can deal with that. I can deal with it, darling. Listen to me. I will make this town so hard for you, you will not believe it. You stake your life on that. No problems. But before then, could you get your sorry self out of my paradise? Your paradise, yes, dear. You mean the one you stole from a dead man? You cheap. Yvonne, you're very lucky that you didn't try all this rubbish with me. You will have had an acid bath right now. What is wrong with you? Do you think the whole world is going to end in this what happens? Girl, take a chill pill and just think. You know what? You get your sorry self out of my house before I roast you the way your parents were roasted by angels. I don't do that. Right. Right. My parents were born from church, right? By the time you get born, you're going straight to the pit of hell. You're going to hell, girl. Yeah, I'm not just waiting for you to go on. Enjoy the rest of the attic, my daughter. Go on, enjoy. Don't leave me. Get out. Oh yeah, you are leaving. You are crying. You are crying. You are crying. You are crying. Oh my God, such a good boy. 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 I think I know exactly what to do. What? Hello? Mr. Ken? Yes, my name is Judith. I'm the lady who got an apartment from you with Jordan. Somewhere around Jerry. Yes, how are you? Listen, I need an apartment urgently. No, no, something different from what Jordan has. A duplex will do. Perfect. All right, thank you. I'll be expecting your call. Thank you. Bye. 
should it why you in such a hurry to get accommodation? We can still stay here for a while. Because that good for nothing loser will make fun of us if we're still in a hotel. I want to beat her to her own game. But do you have enough money to get a duplex? I mean we should get something no, for a smaller no, apartment. No, no, no. It has to be a duplex. Yvonne is going to take the whole beefing thing to another level. What level? And a fizzy level. Now we have to play with her head rule for head rule. Okay, Alright then, bumper to bumper it is. I just can't believe that she would do that to me and still have the nerve to talk. She's not even... Okay, you need to tell me exactly what happened between you and Judith when I and Doris were in Joss. I need to be clear, if not you leave me with no other choice than to pack my things and leave for Joss this minute. Do you want to listen to me or you want to keep blabbing? All ears and go on ahead and talk. to Judith because we had a lot of things in common like sharing men at some point it all started in our days in SS1 class how good for you story time is in my business you see my friend why don't you understand me imagine I don't want her to feel jealous how will she feel sitting and watching us doing it? She can go outside for all no, she again. can. She can go out. Please, just do this. What are you saying? Do you want me to die? Do you? You won't die. It can't kill you. Please. Please, Frank. Just do this for me. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not doing it. You can't do it. Where are you, Frank? I thought you said you loved me. Anyway, I can now see better. You can do the Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! What is this? Let's go, please! Oh, okay. Even when we couldn't have a threesome, I went first, then linked her up with the same man. Everything, everything Judith boasts of today was gotten through that. Okay. That settles the man sharing. What dead man was she talking about? Mm -hmm. Baby, I mean, don't tell me that you're traveling with all this money. <laughs> no, 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 my dear. No. See, uh, this is money for uh, some uh, things that I supplied. They just paid this evening, and the banks have closed. So, I, I, I bring it home, you know, and uh, Monday will be paid. But then I remember I'm traveling. But I'll be back midweek, so it's all right. <laughs> but baby, this, this amount is huge. You can just leave this money here in your bedroom. What if someone just walks into your house and breaks into your house and just takes the money? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. It's huge. Oh, baby, baby. You see, this whole house, I have two keys. You have one, I have the other. So, you see, if you don't break in, and I don't, then nobody else. 
and come into this place. <laughs> I know, babe. I just totally forgot that your house is perfectly secured. Oh, yes. Oh, and if anyone has uh, the misfortune of breaking in, it's going to be totally impossible for them to break out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baby, I'm going to miss you so much. Uh, I'm going to miss you an awful lot. <laughs> So tell me, hmm. who are you going to see in London? Which other woman? What? Yes, baby. I'm there, but my heart is here. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, when are you taking me on your next trip to Paris? Mm, the next one to yeah, Paris. Paris. Yes, and to Rome. Oh. Yes, and to Czechoslovakia. Oh my what? <laughs> I'm going to pass your flight. Maybe, maybe I should just. Um, no! <laughs> for, forget the flight. No, baby, you can't do that. That's your business. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> 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 baby, you have to hurry your legs. Like. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> <Ow>, quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> equivalent to 150 million naira. I pray. <laughs> I pray for. Yes. Me. Have you joined formal naira? Oh, or is this ritual money? <laughs> on the second thought, I think of lots. Hey. But come on, Yvonne, you don't have gold in here. I know I don't have gold in here, but babes, listen. This is our money, right? You want to know how I got this money, right? I'll explain to you, but first. Yvonne! Hey Yvonne, I pray. Yvonne! Hey! His name was Chief Tonya. He was my boyfriend. A quite older man. He had a lot of money. He bought me my first car. The car Jesus is driving today. Everything you see in this house today, the cars, the house, I got it from the money I stole from him. That was how we made our money. I guess that was what she meant when she threatened to expose me. Forgetting that she is an accomplice. And I have something that will land her in jail. So you could not close your useless mouth. You went around the whole street broadcasting how you slept with me and my friend, right? Do you not have the guts to come to my house and talk rubbish? You are such an idiot. I'm an idiot? Yes. Now let me ask you to agree. What were you thinking when you agreed to be sleeping with one man at the same time? What were you thinking? She prostitutes. What? It is your mother, your sisters, your aunties and your wife to be their prostitutes. You call my mother a prostitute? Yes. Why did 
I'm so rigidous in this town, she will regret ever knowing me as her friend. I will so deal with her, she will f just forget the first letter of my name. I mean, it's what I brought from the goddess? I took her from, from the goddess and brought her to Port Harcourt? And she wants to deal with me in this town? <laughs> she doesn't know who she's even messing with. Judith, you're just a small fry. so I can buy fuel. Oh, move this car out of here. Oh, what car do you want to buy for me? Um, that car? Oh my god! <laughs> girl, go change your car. And stop being a girl all over the street without nothing. Come here, it's a rickety car right here. Oh, please! Move this thing around. away. Do you need to Chama, who calls you in this matter? So you can't have fun. Oh, let's just take it easy, okay? I'm sweet. Please move this your ball kai wait sure. from behind anymore. I can't. Judy, just, just do it. I will, I will change your life. Chief, I don't have sex from behind again. Judy, please. You know what I can do? Just mention what you want. I'm going to give it to you. Double. What will you give me? Judy, there's reason why they call me Don't Beg with the City. I've not promised a friend. I will turn your life around. I'm making a great woman in this city. Chief, Chief, tell me first, tell me what I want you to give to me. I want to know to Have I promised you that I didn't do it? I'm sorry, you're saying you don't let me think that. I'm going even more. 
<laughs> I'd say I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know, I'm not like a potato video. <laughs> yes, Auntie. You did. Yeah, Auntie, you know you warned me against that girl. You know how things are. I didn't listen to you, but she's a devil herself. She's such an ingrate. Such an ingrate. Auntie, you don't even want to know everything she's done, done to me so far. But it's okay, it's okay, it's one of those things. I'm still in control though. I'm still the biggest chick in Port Harcourt. <laughs> yeah, Auntie, okay then. Well, how are you doing? I know you're doing great as usual. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Okay, take care, dear. Take care. Love you, love you more, love you more. <laughs> bye bye. That was Auntie Carol again. Oh, yes, Auntie Clara. She was talking about Judith, like, you know, the quarry and all. You know, she actually warned me against Judith, but I didn't listen. Is she not coming back again? I really don't know right now because, you know, she's been there for like months now. I maybe she really wants to stay there or something, you know. <laughs> well, our business, it seems she leased the place to somebody else, I guess. But I think she's been running as well. But she's really happy in America, you know. She's really doing great. And I'm happy for her. Yeah. Okay, babes. We are off to have ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm watching my weight. Can you imagine? them transport fare to come to Port Harcourt. They will so regret it. <laughs> oh my god. You don't even know who they are dealing with. You guys should take it easy before you start killing each other. Especially that foul-mouthed low-life Doris. I think she can just say whatever she wants to say and go scot-free. By the time I'm through with her, <laughs> oh my god, she won't even know what hit her. Can you just, can you just imagine what an increase? Enough! Oh, I am so bad. Look at who I've been trying to help. Doris. Doris just came to display in my compound and say whatever she wants to say to me. Me, Yvonne, who picked her up from the gutters, who paid her transport fair to Port Harcourt. Oh, God, I'm so bad. Oh, God. I am so bad. In this town. Yes, Yvonne. Yvonne, you are Shama. 
The fact that we used to act like sisters does not mean we're sisters. You hear? Doris, was I talking to you? Instead of you to come here and let's make peace, you're there taking sides. <laughs> like I expect any less from you. You're only taking sides with Yvonne because you live with her. Abby, you've only come here to gather gist so you can see what to gossip to Yvonne about when you get back to that place you call a house. Right? Mm -hmm. For your information, as you can see. Look around. We are living large. Extra large. You understand? And we bought this house. We didn't rent it. You get? Doris. What? The fact that we are friends does not give you the right to insult. I beg, I beg, I beg. She'll not put it with this your holier than thou attitude. I beg, put it. Doris, Doris, Doris. Choma is right. I don't think you should insult her. You know, she only came here to make peace. Oh, please, Judith. I've had enough of her and Yvonne. Look, Choma, Judith is my sister. And if I like, I'll carry this whole matter and put it on my head. Show your head. Eh? And when you get back to that place you call a house, tell Yvonne that I said she has not seen the last of us. Look at what comes out of her mouth. Eh? Look at what comes out of her mouth. Yeah, unless all this happens after all. No wonder Yvonne threatened to deal with her. Shoma, what will Yvonne do? I'm asking you, what will Yvonne do to Doris? That dirty, filthy, stinking manhunter slept with my man. And she felt no remorse about it. All she did was threaten and insult me. What will she do? Shoma, go back and tell her that I said I'm not afraid of her. Anyhow she wants it, I will give it to her. Such effrontery! Judith, all I'm asking is for us to come back to the way we used to be. We were sisters, remember? I pray Mono come back, Choma. I pray Mono come back. Please, I beg. What will you drink? What will you eat? I know one vex. <sighs> Says she, 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 she will deal with Doris. Very silly question. No, 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 no. You daughter of a dog. Haven't you heard about enough? You are here to see my man. My man. That's why I'm asking you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know what, sweetie? I made you. I picked you from the gutter. That is how it is. Oh, you speak about the gutters? You look like the gutters. Hey, girls, girls, listen. I'm not going to let you do this here. This is my premises, and you're disturbing me. Oh. You're embarrassing me, and I don't like it. Well, Jordan, if you're so embarrassed, ask this bitch whole slut to take her black scrub out of his face right oh, now. No, no, baby, listen, don't listen to her, okay? Ask her to leave. She's oh, so Oh, listen. Hard. Is that how you want it? Oh, yes. I'll do it my way. That's my man. Leave. You two, you're going right what now. What are you doing? I'm kick her ghetto ass into the car. He wants me to get ghetto? Okay, I'll get ghetto. You are from the ghetto, I'll go ghetto. You are from the I ghetto. So ghetto. Listen, 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 get out of there. Push me. You don't want to leave? Wait, this? It's a jeep. I'll bash it. Hold up. Hold Get inside! It. I'm getting inside. I'm going, I'm going. You hey, move this can. Get out! Go! Go! Fine, I'm going, I'm 
Get out! Go in! God has been faithful, very faithful. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And the Bible is complete. He's just been faithful. Hey, yeah. Uh, what of uh, Yvonne? How is she coping? <laughs> Mama, Yvonne has now become a big time prostitute in Patakot. Yeah. She never, since she left this town and told us that um, she was in school, we all believed her. But to our surprise, when we got to um, Patakot, we found out that she now runs a beer parlor with her auntie. Mama, that is where Yvonne gets all her numerous male customers from. Yvonne now hops from one bed to the other. Mama, if you see Yvonne, if you see Yvonne, you will weep for the woman that gave it to her. Chineke! Hmm. No wonder her mother told me that Yvonne bought her a car and a house at Rayfield. And I begin to wonder how and we are an ordinary student of university got money to do all that. Mm. Mm. She even opened a big supermarket for her mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't you understand? Do you know why they call them cheap prostitutes? It is because for as low as 200 naira, any man can sleep with them. 200 naira. Yvonne's case is different. She sleeps with men and they give her big money. Because I hear she uses champs. And that immediately those men sleep with her. They forget their families entirely. Lord of Jesus, save us. God, I thank you. Since you gave me these children, I've never had cause to regret. Bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Almost true, sir. My children, like I said before, I want you to continue to manage the way you've been doing. Things are very hard, quite well, but with God, everything is possible. I want you to do things that concerns God. Always read their Bible, pray, and go to church. If you involve yourselves with things of God, you will have little or no time for things of this world. As you return to school, I want you to manage this 10,000 naira. Thank you, Use it judiciously. Is that clear? God will you. Yes, my children. Father has said it. 
Baby, her Vivian is just nice. Oh no, sweetie, no, no. There is no need to lie. No. You know what? I took the liberty of investigating you. I know everything, everything about you and Vivian. I know that she donated her kidney just to save your life. That is so awesome. And I also know that you are from a very, very poor home, Dio. Isn't that your real name? <laughs> no, sweetie, don't make that face. And no, don't make that face, darling. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me break it down for you. I got interested in this whole thing because of Judith's obsession about you and her refusal to share you as we used to do. You know, I want to set you free so you can marry your sweetheart, Vivier. But on one condition, I want you to sleep with dogs. Take pictures of her and bring me the negatives. What? And I'll give you 1.5 million naira 
one millionaire right now and 500,000 once the job is done. She's going to bring the truth down. Doris, listen, I know you have every reason to be mad at me right now. But please, I need you to forgive me. Okay, please. Oh, shut up, Jordan, shut up! How, how could you do that to Judith? How could you sleep with Yvonne of all people? How? Why? I just don't know how it happened. Listen, Yvonne seduced me into sleeping with her. And I just... I don't know how it happened. Please, okay? I just need you to understand. Listen, I want you to help me. You're the only person that can help me right now. Please, help me talk to Judith, okay? It's okay. But you really need to leave now. I don't want to get the matter any more complicated than... Oh, uh, okay. Already. But you ha have to promise me you will help me talk to her. I'll try, but you really need to get going now. Please. Don't find it for me at all. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, please, can I get your number so I can call you to find out where we can take you? Okay, let me give you all the information. I sleep with Doris. What? Rubbish! Nonsense! That is not even happening! How can she even think of a thing like that? How can she? I knew it was gonna get to this. I allowed you. Because I love you selflessly. That's why I allowed you in the first place. And now they want you to sleep with the whole of Kakot, the whole of attack on my man. I'm tired. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. I'm, not having this. Vivian, I, I'm sorry, please. Listen, listen, listen to me. I know I'm messing up, okay? But I want you to understand that I'm doing it for us. I'm. Baby, listen, I love you, okay? I'm sorry, please. This is business. I just want you to get that, please. Okay? I don't like what I'm doing, but I have to do it. <laughs> Vivian, please. Come please. Please. Okay, please. Please. Yeah, hello? Hi, hi, Doris, what's up? How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, um, I, I actually called to know if I can see you right now. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so worried, like, th this whole thing is killing me. I miss Judith so much. It's okay, take it easy. So, why do you want us to meet? Um, okay, I, I think my house will be, will be okay. Yeah, because it will make us talk freely, okay? Besides, I'll be very, very glad to host uh, my sister-in-law. <laughs> Your house. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be there at all, man. Oh, thank you very much. Listen, you don't know what you've done for me right now. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm expecting you, okay? All right, bye. And who are you talking to? Um, a new cash. Aha! That's good for you. Who is he? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, you better be careful. Whatever. I'm going inside. Hey, hey! Hi. Doris. Hi. Um, 
I must say you look um, ravishing. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, what can I offer you? Um, anything you have, sorry. Do you do alcohol? Definitely. Uh, I was actually <laughs> taking brandy before you oh, came. No, 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 Thanks. Um, I you can take six. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, please, I really need you to help me talk to your sister. All right, just help me tell her that I love her so much, and I really want to get married to her. Don't worry, I'll I'll, I'll talk to her for you. Just. And um, the Yvonne's issue is actually a mistake. Okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll talk to her. Are you alright? Doris. Doris. Vivian! Vivian! Yes! <clears throat> come, come. I think it's working. It's working? Yeah. I like, I like, I like. But you know, if a smart person sees this picture, you can tell that the girl in the picture is unconscious. Well, that would have been if it was a video coverage, but this is a still photograph, okay? Mm -hmm. So it is very possible that she could have blinked her eyes when the shot was taken. Okay, you win. Um, I'll have to give you your balance now, right? Thank you so much for a job well done. Um, are the negatives here? Everything is. Are you sure? Everything is in there. <laughs> yeah, um... <clears throat> um, yeah, one more thing. I want you to take your sister lover out of this town because if Judith sees this picture, <laughs> she's going to pull a bullet through this head of yours. Baby, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Okay? I, I am human and I'm bound to make mistakes. Alright? Listen, Yvonne was a total blunder on my part, but I'm terribly sorry about it. John, you're such an embarrassment to the male folk. A disgrace. A shame to be called a man. Mm -hmm. Very true. You have the F on tree? The temerity to be sleeping with my friend, God alone knows for how long. Listen, the only reason I'm here is because of Doris, else you will not set your demeaning eyes on me. Baby, I swear to you, it was once, okay? It was once I slept with her and it didn't happen again. Which makes you a thief and a cheap liar. What do you take me for, Jordan? A fool? An illiterate? Look at me very well. I am a player and a good one at that. You'd better be careful, Jordan. You'd better be careful. Baby, I still care about you. I love you. I don't care about you, Jordan. I don't care one bit about you. Jordan, why do I have this feeling you're seeking my forgiveness because you want to beg for something? I mean, I'm used to your begging. You beg this, you beg that, you beg everything. You beg too much. So tell me, what is it you want to beg for this time? Baby, baby, 
please okay i it's not like i need much all right i just need some little cash you know to, to take care of stuff you know you have some nerve you brought me here to beg to beg for some cash for your upkeep to to beg correct me if i'm wrong the wristwatch my money the hand chain my money your dress my money your what is it called golden suit my money your glasses my money your shoes my money you had the f country to sleep with my friend and you bring me here to to beg guys a beggar Huh? Yeah, who's this? What do you mean you can't say your name? Listen, listen. I hate to take anonymous calls because they are very annoying. If you have anything to say to me, you better say it now before I hang up. What? Wait, who? Who was that? What does the person want? Um. Just some anonymous caller with um, a weird allegation of you sleeping with John, right? What? Me? Sleeping with John? That person must be high on cheap drugs. I wonder. <laughs> Such expensive joke. Doris? Hmm? Um, it's not like I... I um... Have you ever slept with John? I'm disappointed in you. You're even more ridiculous and pathetic than the person that called you. No, no, I'm not I'm not in the mood. Please, Doris, wait, wait. Please, 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 I'm so Don't worry, stop begging me. I've told you I will try my best. Don't worry. Everything okay, will be fine. I'm relaxed, but I just want you're to not, be sure. You're not. You're not. You've been writing about the same thing over and over again. I will. Please, okay? service on your baby now. Huh? Is that service on your baby now? I'm not baby. I'm watching a movie. Oh, okay. Doris? Yeah? Have you seen or heard from Jordan in a while? Um, no. Why? At all? What about this? Girl, this is what you need to wear to the party. This dress is hot, as in it is mad. Oh, no. I was thinking I was going to wear something a bit crazier. Judith, you want to wear something crazier than this? Girl, if you wear anything crazier than this, it's going to be tagged as nudity. I mean, in as much as you plan on winning so many souls onto the line, <laughs> you need to look a bit decent because there are going to be loads of big shots at that party. Yeah, I know, but... Need look to... at the dress, the dress is mad. It's just going to cling to your body like that. I know. This is what you need to wear, girl. This is it. I just think that the church is empty. I know your church is empty. Are you going to get... Nobody there now. This is what you're wearing. My church you is empty. Is because of one party. It's because <laughs> I want the church to be full. I'll just think about that. Alright, this is what you need to wear. Thank you so much, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hey! Baby! Baby, guess what? We have to be there. We just have to be at this party. This type of party comes once in 10 years. Hmm. The way you talk about this party, I feel it's gonna be fire. Fire? <laughs> fire is an understatement. It's gonna be more than fire. Hmm. Guess what? Thanks for coming. It's just 250,000 there. 250,000. Just for thanks for coming. <laughs> Babe, it is strictly by invitation. And your girl here has 
two. Ooh, <laughs> ah, that's my chick. Oh my well, word. Why don't we go and sort that what to wear? Of course, yeah, we have to, we have to. But you know, I'm gonna wear the red dress. The Ooh. short red dress. What are you wearing? Short for me. Oh my god, always both short. <laughs> oh seriously. I'm gonna look like smashing. Ooh. you learned how to drive from a lousy mechanic. Oh, shut your dirty trap, Ivan. I've had just about enough of your blabbing, okay? Now, the only reason why my cousin and I stopped you, or rather that we crossed you, is because we're going to a very important party. And as we were told, losers are not invited. So I'm wondering, yep. where are you going? Where are you going? Because it's strictly by invitation. <laughs> well, darling, I'm going to the same party. And the person who invited me told me that you know, wannabes are allowed, but not low life like you. Oh, please, Yvonne, shut up. I've had enough of you. Just hold it! Look at you, puppy. Uh, do I look like a puppy to you? Oh, get a life, right. darling. No, I get a life. life. You get a life. You get a life. I cannot believe you brought your beef. Shiama, please, just shut up. Shut up. I've had enough of you. Not to worry, Yvonne. All she does is blab. Peacemaker, uh, go on. Blab. Let me warn you, Yvonne. If you come an inch close to me with your dirty feel this thinking unbelievable ass and you try to spoil things for me, I will so make sure you don't well, get back she to doesn't you. have so anything on us. I hope you don't. don't. I hope you don't. don't. This girl for spoiling my night. You know what? I've had this up to here. I'm tired of all this nonsense. I'm tired of it. Well, I didn't really see what happened back then. I mean, I was chatting with my new catch, whom you didn't allow me run off with. Were you blind? No, I wasn't. I mean, didn't you notice that that daft celebrant was staring at me before those two Lola just walked in and spoiled all my plans? What plans? <sighs> Wait, you didn't notice that the celebrant was actually seated opposite us? Staring at me and blinking at me, and I was smiling at him. And I was just waiting for him, you know, like a like a fine girl consent, waiting for him to just come up to me and make the first move. Before those stupid girls just walked in and spoiled everything for me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said he came from America. I mean, back there, women ask men out. Doris was just smarter than you. You think so? Yes. I think so. Well, 
You have to get your butt off that seat and go to bed. It's 2 a.m. and I'm tired. Mm. But I'm still so peaceful. I also do. May I get over it? Okay, I'm just responsible for this whole thing. And ah. She just bought everything for me, especially that Judy girl and that little life of a joy. I'm going to deal with her later. Coming. Sit down. Are you trying to play secretive? Or you want me to beg for the gist? Tell me, you got back last night after seven days and then you still keep your lips sealed? Come on! Tell me something. Do you, what happened? Do you know you scared me? <laughs> God, do we say sit down? I was like, okay, what did I do again? Tell me. Anyways. To think that that's how you told me to come all the way to your room because of cheese. Yes, that's why I called you. Tell me. I'll tell you. After that night when we left the club, mm -hmm. Barak told me to come to his hotel and we just chilled till the next evening. That's all. No, 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 there's, um, there's more to be said and you know that. Tell me all, all, okay, everything. Okay, 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 I'll tell you. He got a call that night that I had to be in Ghana for a conference and he asked me to come with him but I didn't want to go but he was just sweet talking me and everything I was like okay 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 I'll go and we got to Ghana and girl he showed me the best time of my life I know <laughs> and then we left Ghana I came back to Port Harcourt and he proposed to me it's a lie it's a lie like I can't believe in myself it's still like a dream <laughs> Barack Donuts Mm -hmm. CEO of a multi-billion dollar empire here yes. proposed to my my cousin? Yes, sir. <laughs> swear, you kidding me? I swear I'm still in shock myself. I cannot believe it. I <laughs> people will go die for water cuts. People are going to die in this water cuts. Girl, you can say that again. Especially that stupid slut called Yvonne. Oh my god, she's going to trip and fall! Oh, they will fall on top of themselves. Wait, I can't what? Shout. Hey, wait. You are engaged to Barack? Yes, me. I pray. <laughs> Anyways, he wants us to get married ASAP, so you know we have to get going and get everything together. The plans, as in, I'm confused with everything, but we'll do it one way or the other. And we have to go to just to see moms and pops and everybody because, as in, everything is still like a dream. Don't you? Please, I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to get it in myself. So right now, you need to get me a drink and let us celebrate because you're my maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, I pray my logo. I pray my logo. Oh, I Where's the drink, Joe? Korea services. Are you Miss Judith? Yes. Miss yes. Okoye? Yes. Sorry, I have a letter for you. From where? I don't know. Okay, thank you. I have something to sign, I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, to the reason we came to Potaka. <laughs> 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 
and um, to our, vi our, our passport, our visas. <laughs> That's right, to our visas. <laughs> and to our own for our love. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I think I should make a toast. Okay. Mm -hmm. To our ever, ever so green relationship. And of course, to me not being dumped by you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because I mean, those girls are so hard to take the grace of God to save any man. Oh, come on. I'm glad we're still here. Come on, come on. Listen, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, does that give me some credit? No. Why aren't you enjoying it? Tell me, why aren't you? Listen, I was just, I was just playing games. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't mean anything else. Mm -hmm. I was just playing games. Just... What's your favorite? Uh, no, Did listen, it? listen, uh -huh. don't, don't, Ooh, don't, don't even go. Oh, the dark skin one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Love you more. I'm so happy we're going to Canada. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. 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 Me Shudi, don't tell me it's because of Jordan. Oh, shut up your mouth! Shut up your dirty, filthy, stinking mouth! Don't you ever mention the name around me again, ever! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you. You should be. Get out of my sight. Get out! Make it physical! Just get out! No! My God, Judith, you're still awake? Come on, dear. You can't solve a problem by creating another. Hmm? This is past 11 p.m. and you're still awake, crying over your cousin's illness. My dear, if you continue like this, she will recover to come and start looking after you in the hospital again. And which is not good. Oh, come on, come dear. Go back to bed. Doris will be okay. She'll be all right. To ask you a favor. What is it? I need for you to escort me somewhere to a place where I bought landed property. I just want for you to see it before I pay so I, I don't make a mistake. No problem, we'll go later. No, no, no. Listen, get get up. Your wedding planner is going to be here for 10 o'clock and it won't be nice if she meets neither of us at home. So get up. Come on, let's go. I'm just sleep for five minutes. No. No. Get uh, get off. Oh, oh. And that thing is the was about who wasn't about children. Look, the guy has moved on already. You should do the same. Yes, yes, you're you're right. He's moved on and I, I should move on too. So get dressed and let's go. Oh, oh, you always have to have your way. I always have to have your way.
dead bush at this time of the night. It is not a dead bush. This is where I bought my property. Why would you want to buy a land here? Why would you want to live here? Who said I'm living here? I only bought the property. I don't know why anybody ah. would want to buy anything. Here they are. The guys who sold the land to me. Talk to you. Good morning. Good morning. Please, I'm, I'm here to see Jordan or, or Vivian, his younger sister, any of them at all. I, I need to see them now. I guess you are a bit late. How, how do you mean? Jordan and his wife Vivian traveled to Canada last night. <laughs> I, I, I think you're making a mistake. Vivian is Jordan's kid sister. And we all thought so until he invited my uncle to their court wedding. That was the day before yesterday. You're kidding me, yes? I don't think their travel to Canada is only for their honeymoon because they sold everything in their apartment, including their car. Yes, unknown caller, what can I do for you? Known receiver. I've called to tell you something very interesting. Well, the last time you told me something, you made me do something extremely silly. So out with it because I'm rushing somewhere. Oh, to the airport? Who is this? Who is this and how did you know that? Where are you? <laughs> um, don't worry your head about it, darling, okay? And for the question, where I am? I am in my paradise, darling. Am I in any way talking to Yvonne? Of course you're speaking with Yvonne. The lady whose fingers fed you. The lady whose fingers you bit. And the lady who has sworn with everything she has to deal with you. Jesus! Yvonne? Yvonne? You made me kill my cousin? It's you? Oh, no, sweetie, no. <laughs> I did not make you kill your cousin. You killed your cousin. You're such a fool. I mean, were you blind? Didn't you see the pictures? Oh, darling. You know what? I paid Jordan to drug Doris and take those photographs. Because I knew that you'd be too blind to see that. <laughs> well, Judith, if I may advise you, I would say that just go back to your house, take a hot coffee, and mourn your brat of a cousin. And as for Jordan, he just called me to say that um, he just arrived in Canada and he's having a swell time with Vivian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, for the records, darling, for the records, I have everything on tape. How you and your men killed Doris. You strangled the poor girl. I mean, that is a very terrible thing to do, darling. <laughs> Yvonne! Yvonne! Oh! Wait, 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 I mean, who told you that? Judith called me. 
<laughs> I'm going there. You come in with me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll come later, okay? I'll, I'll come later. Oh my God, these girls. Oh, just these cheap ones. Oh, it's not good. These cheap ones they do. Hi. is a bit short. Her name is Choma. Don't lay a finger on her. That's a minute. You get the balance after the job is done. Don't forget, before Kokro. We will get back to you. Consider it done. Now you just have to stop crying so I can hear you out. John, I'm gonna drop this one. I'll drop this one right now if you don't talk. What is the problem? What happened? You, you, you said what? Oh my god. 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 I mean <sighs> I know who did this. Of course, Judith, Judith, of course, who else would have done it? It's Judith. She sent her men after me, right? <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm fine, I'm alright, I'm alright. You know what? Just don't get yourself worked up about that. I'm fine. And I can't really tell you where I am right now, but I'm in a hotel, I'm just chilling, okay? 
Yeah, listen to me, okay? Just listen, just calm down. Just calm. Hope you're not hurt. Did they hurt you? Are you sure? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Just take it, just calm down, right? Everything's under control. Trust me now, just trust me. Just, she's a small fry. Don't worry, she's a small fry, okay? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Take care. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Are you out of your mind? Have you gone totally berserk? You have the effrontery to stand before me and tell me you didn't meet her in her house? Where did she go? Where did she go? Ah, <laughs> you, you, you want to deceive me? You want to deceive me? Okay, trust me. Your boss will certainly hear about this. Please, madam. We plead with you not to let our boss hear of this. It is against our rules to do a job without our boss knowing. We accepted this deal because of how close we are. Please give us more time. We deliver. Two days. I give you two days to deliver. Else, I will so sing to your boss. We promise. Oh, stop bowing. Get out of my house.
Go to my room. I I have some money in my wardrobe. Check, check. Just check. Check my wardrobe. That's a long process, okay? My bank is just around the corner. Go and get the money. No, no. Don't fall it. Don't fall it. It's been in other ways. Listen. You have to help me tell Yvonne. Tell Yvonne I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? She's my best friend. My best. My best, best friend. <laughs> Just hang in there, okay? Okay. Tell her just in case I don't get you. Because I'm this place alive. Stop the time. Yes. Tell her, tell her. Because the queen is much taller. Let me just rush this water. Okay. Thank you. Chow, chow. Chow, chow. Chow. Okay, go, go, go. Don't let me go, okay? Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Uh, Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Alaji, <laughs> let's go inside. No, baby. I just want to suck the breast. You just want to suck my breast. Just breast. You don't want to make love to me. No, 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 no. I just like to suck breast. That's all. Go in and wash. Okay. Mm -hmm. I yeah. <laughs> like baby, <that>. baby. <laughs> <laughs> this man is really strange. He just wants to suck my breast. He doesn't want to make love to me. Whatever. Hello, baby. Hi. Sweet girl with little brain. By the time I finish sucking your breast, you will understand who Alaji Mosa is. Where is my friend? He is just coming. Where is my friend? Where is my friend? You have to go to the first office. What do you mean by that? Just pull yourself together. message for you. She said she loves you and that she, you are her best friend for life. Oh, oh my god. I hope you are now. And it's Then suddenly
<laughs> Look at what I've gotten myself into. Look at what I've gotten myself into. Hi. Money's not everything. Money's not everything. does not guide a house in vain, does the waterman guide it? And when God hasn't said yes about a thing, no one dares say yes to it. Who would believe that I used to live in this lonely space with three of my best friends? Who would believe that I lost them all within a space of one week? Doris died on Tuesday, two weeks to her wedding to Barak, a multi-millionaire. Judy died on Friday, exactly three days after, and Yvonne, the reason we all came here, died on Saturday, just yesterday. <laughs> Today is Sunday, our favorite day of the week, a day we go grooving like sisters. Who would have ever thought that a Sunday could ever be so boring in this paradise of ours? <laughs> as Yvonne would refer to it. The doctor said that I should take heart, that it was how God wanted it. But I put it to you, that it is rather the way we made it. You know, people often label things like this to the will of God. But no, I really doubt that. Because if Yvonne did not get jealous about Judith and Jordan's relationship, this wouldn't have happened. If Doris didn't prefer beef to peace, this wouldn't have happened. If Judith didn't turn greedy to their usual habit of sharing their men, this wouldn't have happened. Or should I say that if only we did not make it a habit to sleep with every other man just for the sake of money, maybe, just maybe my friends will still be here today popping wines and making more noise as we usually do. In a nutshell, this is a result of jealousy, greed, antagonism, selfishness, and pride. I must walk away from all this. But before then, I besiege with the Nigerian government to do something about the Jews crisis so that more young girls won't have to run out of jails into their untimely graves in search of a better life. Please, I beg you, Nigeria, do something. Looking back to yesterday, see how Without you, I'm all alone. That's so very true. Without me, I'm feeling alone. Tell me why Why are we killing each other Five 
fighting each other Why we beefing each other I want to know Tell me why 